Hello and welcome back to our ES6 introduction. This is use a rest parameter with function parameters. In order to help us create more flexible functions, ES6 introduces the rest parameter for function parameters. With the rest parameter, you can create functions that take a variable number of arguments. These arguments are stored in an array that can be accessed later from inside the function. Check out this code. Function how many and then dot 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 args and that would allow us uh, it will return you have passed and then how much ever uh, args you passed in there so if we console.log how many and pass in 0 1 and 2 it's going to say we passed in three arguments if we console.log how many and pass in string null and array and then an object it should say we pass four arguments so to return that. The rest parameter eliminates the need to check the args array and allows us to apply map filter and reduce on the parameters array. So modify the function sum using the rest parameter in such a way that the function sum is able to take any number of arguments and return their sum. So if we zoom out here, um, we just want to make it look like this here. So that will allow us to uh, take any number of arguments. Um, and we also, oh, and it says in return their sum. So that would be here. I don't think we need this though. Definitely don't need that since this allows us to just pass that in and it's going to take those args and yeah that should actually work and it will return the to some of those arguments um let's run test yeah so we passed yeah the important thing to to take away from this is this rest parameter and understanding that it allows you to pass in as many arguments as you want later on um, see these arguments are stored in an array that can be accessed later from inside the function as long as you're understanding that you guys are getting this um, this lesson and I'll see you in the next one